guys, it's me, Goo Goo Atkins. We are downtown Los Angeles, and guess what? We're taking it to the streets. So today, I'm going to stop a whole lot of random people and just ask them what they're wearing. I'm not here to judge what you're wearing. I'm not here to make you feel bad. I'm here to maybe give tips here and there, but show you a way to embrace your existing style and take a little bit of the pressure off that people have in the mornings when they're just overthinking what to wear, what to wear, what would Google do? You're not Google. You don't have to do what Google does. Do what you do, but guess what? You're going to see a lot of people on today's episode that kind of may remind you of yourself. Self, and I'm just tweaking little things here and there and hopefully it can help you. Are you guys ready to meet a few folks? All right, let's go. This is my new friend, Rachel. We just met six seconds ago. So what I'm doing today is just talking to people about their street style. So yeah. sometimes people put way too much thought into getting dressed and sometimes there are little small things and changes that people can make that will make the world of difference and will make their look a little more polished right the main thing with me as a stylist is i want for a look to be consistent can i give you a tip on what i feel like you're wearing right absolutely. now absolutely i love it <laughs> thank you rachel <laughs> the only thing i would change about what you have on right okay. now is probably this necklace it looks a little beachy i would wear this with a sundress that's kind of maybe low cut okay. flowy something like that but with this this is really playful the shoes and stuff are really comfortable that this is the perfect little crop top to go with it and the only thing I would change is that your jewelry is perfect cool. Done. let's Done. look at this backpack backpacks are fun and functional and I'm also a big fan of this neutral color shoe you can wear it a lot of different places and plus the color is really really good looks good on your complexion thank you you're welcome so, thank you for hanging out yeah thanks so much <laughs> you're welcome fun. Guess who I ran into? My good friend Major. Yeah, you did. What what a lot of my industry friends, my my singer friends, they always come and ask me, well, goo, like how how do I look? Is this okay? But I think this is something I said to you at the very when yeah. I first met you. Years I ago, like yeah. your style. You just wanted them people to just you yeah. know what to wear. I'm major. You're major. That's what my mama named me. That's who I gotta be. <laughs> and so what's super duper trending right now is the pattern socks right, and right. the the high rise kind of flooding pants. But yeah. the way you gotta wear them is you cannot have those wide leg. No boot cut. <laughs> I know you've seen it. Super wide and your Don't ankle is in there dangling. You look in foolish. There. No, it looks <laughs> foolish. The the pants have to fit your ankle in order for this look to be yeah. achieved. I was just thinking that since you're here and you're seeing and you love me and so. I I don't know, maybe That's you true. would sing a little something? You know what, let's just go off the top of the dome. Okay. It's a beautiful day, and I am glad to say that I'm here with you, mm. sweet darling Goo Goo. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Major. You got it, beautiful. <laughs> so I just met this gorgeous young lady named Waverly. Everyone has their own sense of style, and I like yours. Everything you have on is consistent. Like, I love the way you have the glasses with the dress and the boots. That all gives me, like, a little hint of goth, but it's really feminine. You have a very pretty face. Your Thank makeup, you. I see that blue mascara on, and it's gorgeous. Thank you. So are your <laughs> eyes, and so are your freckles. You're just a pretty girl. Um, but I love your look. I wouldn't, change a, I wouldn't change a thing. I like everything you have on. But your sunglasses, like, everything is perfect. Can you put it back on for the lovely people? Told you it was cute. <laughs> all right, so this is my little cousin, Stash. Stash, say hi to the people. <laughs> Somewhere along the way, Stash started dressing like a boy, all right? And I'm not, I'm not mad, because if that's your style, okay, that's your style. But all I'm saying is, can we buy the girl brand version of the boy clothes? Okay, so I get it. You want comfortable pants, and I'm not mad at your pants at all. I'm not mad at your shirt. All right, you're wearing your pride shirt. Would you mind going a little skinnier at the ankle? No, Would that care. hurt you? No. You don't care? Okay, so we, we're getting somewhere. Honestly, my biggest issue with what you have on right now is the socks with the flip-flops. Not even that they boy flip-flops. I just feel like if you're gonna wear flip-flops, let your feet get some air. Well, I don't, what's the inspiration? Uh, you should see these toes, though. Where are your dog gonna feet out? Your feet are hot. Let them be free. At night. <sighs> Baby steps. Mm -mm. This is Joy, she is a drummer, and guess what? She plays for Beyonce, woo! And so this is the thing, she's a drummer. I would not expect for you to be down here in a pair of tan chinos and a blue top buttoned up. I don't expect that. I expect you to look just like you look right now. So, what I would change about what you have on is absolutely nothing. I like what you have on. I like that this necklace is actually a prissy 
girly get dressed up necklace, but you're wearing it in a nice, cool, punky type of way. Of course, this gun is not, um, you know, it's a gun, you know, but it looks, it's super cute. And she found a cool way to wear boots in the summertime and not look weird. It looks cool and appropriate because your legs are out, so you're not just on fire. Joy, do you mind doing a little spin so we can see the poncho? I don't mind. I love, <laughs> love it. You see our inner model just kick right in. <laughs> so you guys know I'm picking up random people off the street and talking to them about their street style. So I see this beauty here and I can see through this veil. I know you can, but I can see through it. She's beautiful under there. So your look is consistent. Like your hair is funky. You got on funky colors. I like the funky uh, fishnet stockings. Of course, those shoes are super duper funky and fun. The only thing I would change is I would show my pretty face. Can you please take off the veil? Sure, no problem. <laughs> okay, so Brianna was in an accident and she has some scarring. So she wears her veil over her face to keep from the sun uh, causing further damage. Right. And so I thought that it went with your look. I thought I was <laughs> like, oh, she funky? But you're very pretty. You have beautiful features. Thank you. And I thank you for stopping and hanging and with I us. I appreciate for you guys stopping. Of course. <laughs> Listen, I had to sit down because I've been on my feet all day. Do you mind? Anyway, this is Karina. Karina, say hi to everybody. Hi, you two. <laughs> <laughs> to me, you kind of have a slight hippie-ish thing going on with right. the uh, with the fringes and that whole sort of thing. Yeah. Now, at first, I was going to say, oh, the fringe and the rips in the pants are too much. But you know what? It, it, it's hippie-ish. You know what I'm saying? And the glasses are just the yeah, icing on the cake. The glasses, so. <laughs> yes. I like the Birkenstocks. Okay, I like the shoes. You. Only thing I would change about your Birkenstocks is I would change the color. Because I feel like the black against all of these, you know, nice bright color. Ooh, if you had like a purpley sort of something. Ooh, oh, yeah. that would be so cute. So that's it. But you know what? They're perfectly fine just the way it is. You look comfortable. You look cute. Your clothes fit well. Not too revealing. Showing a little belly. And just being 100% you. Thank you. Thank I like you. that. So I had a bunch of fun. We met a whole lot of regular people just like me and you. We met artists. We met tomboys, we met Brianna. I loved Brianna's story because even though she had been in this tragic accident, she had some scarring. She was still unafraid to show us her face and I appreciate that. And also, she found a really cool way to rock her veil and have a little style to it. She had a punky, funky thing, but I loved her spirit. And you guys know that I am big on people loving who they are, loving the skin they're in, don't have to make any you don't have to answer to anybody's expectations of you you can just be who you are and you can still be beautiful and sometimes we're going to get looks and we're going to get stares but as long as you love you try to get them today was such an exciting show i cannot wait to see you guys next time so if any of you want to share your street style or if there's anything else you want to hear me talk about leave them in the comments below for more fun videos check us out right here at the WeTV youtube channel